Hola, hola. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Okay. Let me see. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just share the screen. Voy a compartir la pantalla. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Good. I'm well. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Let me see cuánto vamos. Ya estamos aquí. Okay, just hold on, guys. Seven. No worries, but the work going to start. De alguna manera vamos a comenzar. Okay, there you go. Three. Okay, guys. I don't know if you guys have any questions about the last uh, the last class, de la última clase. No for me, teacher. Hmm? No, teacher. Present simple. No. no. Oh well. And about the rest of the classes, respect to the other classes. Creo que también quedó más que claro también, ¿verdad? Okay, so then I'm just going to share the screen now. Voy a compartir la pantalla. Okay, share screen. Okay, let me see. Espero que estén trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Cualquier ejercicio que esté haciendo, se esté haciendo, deben de trabajarlo. Ok. There you go. Ok, we're going to start then. Could you please, Natalie, could you please read the lesson in this session? Um, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people listening, deciding where to go for dinner. Words such as so, to, neither, and either will be introduced. Excellent, very good, very good. Now, repeat with me, deciding. Deciding. Okay, dinner. 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 Introduced. 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 Okay, now let's go to listen, guys. Let's go and pay attention to this. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach you words of agreement. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Did you notice how they use either and to in the dialogue? Excellent. Now what I want you to do, please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Okay, guys. So today we're going to see something different. Vamos a ver algo un poquito diferente. First to start, we're just going to participate. Vamos a participar. Um, we're going to start from Joaquin. Okay, say. Put yes. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Excellent. Let's say, Sarakai. Yes, sure. Where do you want to go? Excellent. 
Natalie Ortega. Well, what do you think of Indian food? Excellent. Lorian Alonso. I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Okay. In the mood, it sería como no en el modo, no estoy como no tengo ganas de ello ahorita. Okay, I know the mood. Okay, Francisco, continue. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Excellent. Uh, Marisol, Selena Marisol. Oh, mm, how do you like Japanese food? Okay, Jose Torres. Oh, I like it a lot. Carritos. I do too. I am. And I can know, I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called uh, Iro, Iroa. Excellent, very Iroa. good. Jennifer Berrios, excellent. Oh, I've always want, wanted to go there. Okay, Iris. Herrera. Okay, Sandra Vasquez. I yeah. know, ah, there you go. Terrific, let's go. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, let's go into practice. Okay, everybody, please repeat with me. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Would you like? 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 No pronounce the L, no voy a pronunciar la L. Do not pronounce the L. Would you like? Would you like? Okay, um, let me see. Okay, Indian food. Indian, Indian, food. Food. Indian food. food. Excellent, very good. Okay, I'm not really. I'm, I'm not, really. not really. Really, I'm not really in the mood. I'm not, I'm not really, 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 in the mood. really in the mood. I'm not either. I'm not, I'm not, either. not either. either. I'm not either. I'm not, I'm not, not either. 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 Okay, it's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. Japanese food. Japanese food. Japanese food. Japanese food. Japanese food. Okay. And I know a nice Japanese. I'm sorry. And I know. A nice Japanese restaurant. And I know a nice, oh, nice, no, nice no, Japanese, Japanese restaurant. 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 Excellent. Uh, I always wanted. I, I always, always wanted. Terrific. 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 Excellent. Very good. Terrific. No es nada mal, okay? Es como lo terrifico exactamente. Es como awesome, great. Es algo positivo. Okay. okay. Now, it's going to continue. So today we're going to talk about those four things or three, either, neither, so, and yes, and love. Okay, well, I want to see, no worries. Okay, could you please read Carlitos? Okay. In this class. Okay, teacher. In this class, Participants will understand the uses of so to, nay, native, and either. With this is where participants may express agreement and or disagreement. Excellent. Disagreement. Excellent. Disagreement. Everybody please repeat disagreement. 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 Understand. 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 Okay. To neither and either. To neither and neither. 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 Express agreement. Express agreement. Express agreement. Express agreement. Disagreement. 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 Excellent. Agreement significa que está de acuerdo. Disagreement, desacuerdo. Okay. Acuerdo, agreement. I'm agree, estoy de acuerdo. I'm disagree, no estoy de acuerdo. So, I agree. That, that it means 
positive, esto es el agreement positive, and disagree, tal cual, desacuerdo, disagreement, okay? Now, let's go to continue with this. Let's go to see. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try the following chart. Don't go as we'll walk you through the use of so, too, neither, either, and more examples. So, too, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject, auxiliary, two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Okay, guys. Lo vamos a dar una vez más, okay? De acuerdo? Y lo vamos a explicar paso a paso. Examples. Okay, first of all, antes que nada, creo que ahorita están un poco como... ¿Qué consiste de eso, verdad? Okay. As it said before, como decía anteriormente, it is talking about words that it helps you to talk about agreements or disagreements, an opinion, como una opinión. So you are talking at a, pro, at a conversation, a mí tampoco, a mí sí, a mí también, okay? So it's talking about agreements, something that you're agreeing, so do you like soccer? Yes, me too, yes. Uh, do you like to eat pizza? Yes. Uh, or no, for example, no, I don't, neither do I. Okay, so it is talking about disagreements. Que vamos a ver cómo se utiliza. Basically, it is that in our opinion, por este último, sí, opinion to talk about a disagree or an agreement. Okay, hablar de un acuerdo, desacuerdo, una pequeña opinión a mí también, a mí tampoco. Okay, that's small words. Antes que nada, para que muestren el panorama. 
It will be just something small. Me either, okay, me too, so do I, etc. Agreements or disagreements. Pequeñas frases pequeñitas para estar y hablar de eso, ¿verdad? Now, let's go into analysis step by step. Ahora vamos a eh, hacerlo poco a poco. One moment, please. Okay, just one moment. Let me check something. Déjenme ver. Solamente un paso por eso. One more time. Let's going to take a look once again. Y vamos a analizarlo después un poquito. Just pay attention once again. Okay, please. Vamos a prestar bien atención esta vez. Para que lo copien. Okay. One moment. So, two, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. <laughs> Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer. Okay, I know it sounds kind of complex. Sé que suena un poquito de complejo. I can't stand fast. Can I? The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to... Okay, pay attention to that. You can use to and so for short answers. Pay attention to that. To or so, for example, me too. For this case, me too. Do you like pizza? Yes, me too. Okay, it's a short answer. Let's go to pay it and let's go to continue once again. To show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry, I am too, so am I. I love apple pie, I do too, so do I. I can play check. Now, okay, if you pay attention, yes, we have to and so. So here we're talking about affirmative sentence. I can't use um, a negative sentence with these expressions, okay? I am hungry, it is one person, and the other one says, I am too, or so am I, because it is an, a small decision, not small decision, in our opinion. It is something, an agreement. It's an expression to say that it's the same. For example, I am not going to say, yes, I am hungry too, okay? You can say, like, so am I. Yes, uh, I am too, or else I do too. Yes, esto nos hace más larga, más pequeña la oración. To say like, instead of say, I am hungry, esa pequeña frase la hace más corta. I love apple pies. And you won't say like, yes, I will, I can, I love apple pie. Y van a ir de persona en persona. That is small expression, it is helpful. I love apple pie. El I do, ¿para qué se ocupa el I do, chicos? O el do. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. ¿Se recuerdan el simple present? Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, do you like to play soccer? Yes, I do. Etc, etc. No van a decir, se puede decir, yes, I do. Y el do hace todo el complemento. Así como decir, yes, I like, do you like to eat pizza all nights? Yes, I like to eat pizza all nights. Solo podría haber sido, yes, I do. So the, see, the same here. 
I do too, or so do I. Okay. Now, I can play chess. I can too, or so can I. Ya vamos a ver la diferencia. So this basically, esos dos está hablando for uh, affirmative, para afirmativos. Okay, now let's go to Yes, Teacher. I can too. Yes. Sorry. Um, las dos respuestas son correctas. I am too or so I am. Yes. Okay. Ah, yes. Solo cambia un poquito la diferencia, lo vamos a ver bien, pero correcto es así. Yes. Y ambas son okay. afirmativas. Two. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Pay attention to that. The position of the two, it is at the end. It has subject. Object it means I, he, she, we, they. Yes. Auxiliary. Recordemos que los auxiliares, así como en present, simple present, or for example, present perfect, having has, simple present, do and does. Que el do nos hace la opción como un, puede ser como un verbo, así como un auxiliar. Yes, así como el que puede ser un verbo como un auxiliar. So, here, subject, auxiliary, okay, and to. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. So, it says a short answer at the right is right at the end. Okay. Follow me. Subject, auxiliary, to. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. At the beginning. So the other one was at the end. Por eso recuérdense la frase pequeña. Me too. Okay. I love you. Me too. Con eso ya basta. El too va al final. Okay, it's at the end. Meanwhile, this is going to be before. A short answer is right at the beginning. Al principio. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of... Here it says the uses of neither and either. Pay attention to here. Negative. This is used for negative when we use, in this case, either, okay? Now, we have like this, it says negative auxiliary, positive auxiliary, que lo vamos a hacer. Eso también, verdad? Okay. Wait. Dude neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't. What's the difference? Okay. I'm not hungry is the complete sentence. There is person with another person. Están dos, tiene que haber un diálogo. It has to be, tiene que haber por, de por sí, más de una persona. Because if it's just one person, it will be, oh, I'm not hungry. Es que pensando, oh, I don't want to eat tacos. Okay, but if I, there is one more than that, oh, sorry, more than one, he or she can give an expression. In this case, we're using both for negative, neither and either. Okay, As, like it was a, a mi tampoco, o ni yo tampoco. Yes, okay, neither. Um, no, okay, a mi tampoco, o tampoco yo. Okay, yes. A mí tampoco, o tampoco, tampoco a mí. Ajá, sería tampoco a mí. Yeah, let's go to continue. Ya lo vamos a ver bien porque tenemos que comprobarlo más. But the thing is that both are for negatives. Okay, so it is expressed for express negative form. Okay. Don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Okay, do not focus on the formula. No se enfoquen tanto en la formula, porfa. Okay, 
shows that it says that either goes at the end and neither va al principio. En eso sí es importante. El resto de la fórmula puede cambiar. Ok. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Remember here, ok, that in here it is uh, at the end. Either comes at the end and neither at the beginning. Either comes at the end and neither comes at the beginning. De igual manera lo van a notar automáticamente ustedes cuando veamos más ejemplos. Ok. Object. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statement. Okay, one moment, please. Nah, there you go. Okay, first of all, vamos a ver parte por parte. Yes, like me too, or so am I. You pay attention here. Yes, me too, it will be like, yo también, yes. O, en este caso, so am I, a mí también. I love you. I love you too, or yes, me too. Podría ser un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Okay, do you like tacos? ¿Quieres comer tacos? Yes. Y luego viene otro. Ok. Oh, I want to eat tacos. Me too. Ok. I want to eat tacos. One moment, please. One moment. Let me see. I do apologize, guys. Perdón que esté moviendo tantas cosas. Okay. Okay, hold on. Two and so. Okay, then we have. Aquí lo vamos a dejar neither. Okay, one moment, please. Neither. There you go. Now, let's go to pay attention, first of all, to make it more, para hacerlo más comprensible. So, as we were talking before, we use it for affirmatives and negatives. Okay. Me too, or so am I. We have already this example here. That is yo también, o mi también. Okay. For example, I like to eat tacos. Yes, I could use both. Both both of them. Okay, me too. Or so. So am I. Okay, me too. I want to eat tacos. And no, in este caso, olvídense el so am I. Okay, one, two, two, cascos, me too, yes. But you know, it was, uh, yes, I love you. I want to, yo también, yo también. 
I like tacos. So I'm gonna, I like to eat tacos. Uh, I like to eat tacos. Yes, I like to. Yes, it's dying. Okay. So am I. I want to eat tacos. Yes. Hmm, me too. Yo tam I mean, yo también quiero. Me too. Okay, me too. I want to. I want to eat tacos. Okay. I love to eat tacos. Okay, so am I. Yes, I like to eat tacos. Okay. Me también me gusta hacer esa acción, esta esta acción, verdad? So am I. Okay. Uh, uh, a mí también. Yo también quiero comer tacos. Sí, yo también. I want to eat tacos. Quiero comer tacos. I like to eat. Me gustan comer. A mí también. Both are positive. Ambas son positive. ¿Ok? Ambas son positivas. Now, that's why we have primary negatives. Now, we can use it in the past. Podemos utilizar la, eh, como un pasado. Like to be. Always we're going to use the verb to be, by the way. Okay. We use the verb be. As auxiliary. The verb to be. Por eso que les está hablando de auxiliar, ¿verdad? Ok, tengo un poco de frío. No van a decir, I have a little bit cold, que es uno de los grandes errores que se comete, ¿verdad? Porque se están describiendo. Yes, so am I. Yes, I'm a bit cold. So am I. It would like this here. Yo también, dependiendo que yo también tengo un poco de frío. Now, for the past, because we we're talking about the verb to be is... Um, is an R. Uy. Um, is an R. Para que se ocupan el am, um, is an R. ¿En qué tiempo están? Simple. Uh, simple present, present. 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 Was was pass, pass, pass. and where? Simple pass. There you go. No auxiliares. Pass. So this helps to be auxiliary. So to be okay. I'm a bit cold. Yes, tengo un poco de frío. So am I. Okay. Si se fijan, quiero ver cómo se lo digo. Okay, I'm a bit cold. Yes, so am I. Es como que a la vez estamos como describiendo. Una pequeña acción, ya le voy a explicar. Siempre es afirmativo. En este caso, to be in the past, I was so, was I. Aquí estoy ocupando el so, ¿ok? Ambas son afirmativas. So am I, so was I, ¿ok? In this case, yo también, me too, a mí también, ¿ok? Now. I know that it's a little bit confused. Sé que suena un poquito confuso porque dicen, pero aquí está diciendo cuál es la diferencia entre so am I and me too. Guys, it's always the same. Tiene exactamente casi que el mismo significado. Ahora, si se fijan, cuando ocupan en el was, I, so, by principio, then comes continue the auxiliary, and then at the end comes the subject. So am I, so was I. Fíjense en esto que es importante, por favor. No van a decir, I was so, o I so was. ¿Ok? Es cierto que toda oración comienza con un sujeto, pero hay excepciones como esta, ¿verdad? Yo también, so. In this case, we're talking about affirmatives or negatives. Affirmative. 
No. Primary. No. Okay. The second. No. Um, talking about the negatives. Vamos a hablar de los negativos. Okay. Boy. For the negatives. Negatives. Okay. I'm not interested in football. Okay. Now, ¿por qué no ponemos el neither do I? Porque el do es más que todo refiriéndose como una acción concre concreta. Aquí lo está refiriéndose como algo que está describiendo. Okay. For example, I don't want to eat tacos. Neither do I. Okay. And here is talking about a description. I'm not interested in football. Yes. Neither I am. Okay. I am. I'm what? I'm not interested in soccer. Neither am I. Okay. Ahí se está describiendo que otra cosa podría ser. I don't want. Okay. I don't want to eat tacos. I don't want to eat tacos. Iría aquí. Neither am I, I'm sorry, neither am I or neither do I. ¿Qué creen ustedes? Um, neither am I. Neither do I. Am I. Neither I am. Yes, neither do I. Okay. Because because in the last video, a uh, comparison. If you use do. don't, you use do. Do. Mm -hmm. If the question says uh, I can, you use uh, can. can I? I mm -hmm. can I? Ah uh, yes. Uh huh. Neither if do you, I. If you if you put attention or oh, pay attention I? in the video, the is you say if you say. Don't the the answer or, or the neither is do I or can I or may I? Okay, now, ¿por qué más explícita la otra explicación aparte del video? ¿Por qué creen que sería? Por el tipo de oración que está en presente y ocupa el auxiliar que es don't. La auxiliar. Let me see. Mm. Okay, I am not, I'm not. No, forget about that. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm not interested. On, on soccer game. Ahora está bien así, ¿verdad? Ambas están correctas. ¿Qué piensan? ¿O cómo lo ocuparían ustedes? Según el video es ni de la maya. Ahora me podrían dar una explicación a su manera según lo que analizan. From the number one, I don't want to eat tackle because simple present. We have the second option, neither do I. About the second sentence, we need to use neither am I, according to the video. Okay, let me see another one. Um... Oh, teacher, we can check again the video. No, I just want to give you something different, not an example. A veces puede ser así, miren. I don't want to eat tacos. I don't want. ¿Qué es esto? Es un sujeto. ¿Qué es? Un verbo. Por lo tanto, se recuerda... Would you like to 
Would you like to marry me? Would you like to eat tacos? ¿Te gustaría comer tacos? Ok. ¿Qué estoy hablando cuando digo would you like to eat tacos? ¿Qué encuentran ahí? ¿Y cómo responderíamos en oración afirmativa y negativa? Corta. Yes, I do. Yes, I would. No, I would. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. In negative. Um, no, I don't. No, no I, don't. I don't. Yo les expliqué que era el do aparte de un auxiliar. ¿Qué es la función así el do? Acortaba toda una oración completa sustituyendo el verbo. ¿Correcto? Mm -hmm. So, in this case, I don't want to eat tacos. Okay? In here, it says, neither do I or neither I am. Okay? Neither do I because I'm talking about a, ¿cómo se llama esto? An action. I am a teacher. La forma más fácil de verla, vea. Okay, I am a teacher. Y la otra persona, ¿qué me diría? No, uy, uy, I am not. I'm not a teacher. Okay, neither do I or neither am I. Neither I am. Neither am I. I. Neither am I. ¿Por qué neither am I y por qué no neither do I? Neither do I indica action. There you go. Excellent. It's an action. Talk about here. I'm describing something. I am telling like that. Okay. No. Neither. Let me see. Yes. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. So, tendría lógica decir, neither am I. No, sorry. Neither do I. I am a teacher. Neither do I. Tendría lógica? No. No. Pues si vamos agarrando más el hilo, eh, así comprendiendo mejor. ¿Por qué no tendría lógica? Because this word it is telling us in some way. Nos lo está diciendo. All right, come on. En una pasada manera, eso nos lo está diciendo. ¿Ok? Lo cual no podría ser acá, ¿verdad? Sino que tendría que ser acá. Ok, el bird to be. Ok. Neither am I. I'm not, neither am I. No es una acción. Ok. Now, let's going to see more than that. Vamos a ver más allá de eso. We have something here. Yes. Affirmative. Con el me too. I am sleepy. Tengo sueño. Ok, me too. Ok, pudo verse haciendo esto. O cuando ocupamos el so, remember that is for the beginning. Una se está, des está describiéndose y para decir yo también. ¿sí? The next one, it is talking about an action. Otra vez vamos acá lo mismo. Ok, regresamos. Uh, so do I. No, que no tenemos el so do I. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. But the thing is that here, yes, I love sushi. And then so do I. Talking about at the beginning, lo que nos explicaron al principio, ¿verdad? So do I. And the other one, aquí sería, sería totalmente diferente. I want to eat sushi. Quiero comer sushi. Me too. Okay. Tendría, decir, tendría lógica de decir, uh, let me see, let me see. I am, yes, I am sleeping, no, let me see. I am a teacher. Yes, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Tendría lógica de decir, I am a teacher, 
So do I. I am a teacher, so do I. No tendría lógica no, decirlo. No tiene sentido. ¿Por qué? Porque no puedo decir a mí también. Y aparte de eso. ¿Por qué no? Lo que pasa es que como está, está como, eh, entiendo que es como que está solo como, eh, como afirmando algo, es decir, para que le diga yo también o yo, o, o, yo, o yo no, por ejemplo. Yo tampoco, por ejemplo. Porque, sí, exacto. El, el ejemplo este. Porque una se está describiendo en the other one está hablando en acción. Exactamente, correcto. I am the teacher, so do I. Pero ¿cuál es la acción? And so do I. Muy bien. Exactamente, no hay ninguna acción. Ok. I want to eat sushi. Yes, me too. So do I. Ahí se aplica. So, it depends. What about the negative? Ah, y el orden también es importante, ¿verdad? El orden es importante. No, negative. Me neither. Ok. Me neither. No. Ah, otra cuestión. Si se fijan con el to, util utilizamos el me too. Ok. No, she likes to. Ok, me too. Tendría decir, tendría lógica decir she too. No, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque estamos expresando... Primera persona. ¿Y qué estamos expresando con estos? Acuerdos o desacuerdos en un diálogo, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Mm. Entre un diálogo que ambos están expresando algo. Now, uh, ahora, si dijera a, a ella también, ¿cómo sería? Ajá. Uh -huh. She does too, ok. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, for example, it could be, I, she likes pizza, she does too. It could be an example. Now, pero chequemos más allá de esto. Something here that is very important, el so, como habían dicho anteriormente, it comes to the beginning, and the two goes at the end. For example, then you can use to me, right? Or, I do so, or so, I'm sorry, do I so. Now, remember that this comes at the beginning. Now, neither, I'm sorry, neither comes at the end. I'm sorry, neither is for a negative también. And it's talking about to express negative sentences or to express negative opinions or disagreements, ¿verdad? I wasn't, ¿qué significa I wasn't? ¿Para qué tiempo lo estamos jugando? Es el negativo de yo estaba. Negativo, I wasn't. Excellent, very good. Pasado de past simple. Ok, excellent, very good. There you go. Now, I wasn't at the party. Se está escribiendo de lugar, ¿verdad? I was not at the party. Está utilizando el verb to be como lugar. So it says, me neither. Yo tampoco. What about the next one? It says, neither plus auxiliary plus the verb. I don't drink. Okay. Then comes the next one. Neither do I. Ahora si le pongo. I wasn't. Let me see. I wasn't uh, a teacher. No, it could be like that. Okay. I'm going to say this. But here it is talking about almost the same. Look at here. El do I, ¿cuál preferirían ustedes para ocupar description? ¿Ok? ¿Cuál ocuparían ustedes para estar en description? Me neither or neither do I. Para descripción. Me neither porque Me está neither. escribiendo. Uh -huh. ¿Y el y otro? El... ¿Y en el otro? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre sí con el otro? Con el neither, neither do I. Neither do I is action, teacher. There you go. It's going action. It's mass concord and action. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Now. Okay. Let's go to check once again the video. Vamos a checar una vez más el video. Sé que suena un poco confuso, pero créanme que más que gramática lo van a entender escuchándolo.
Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Let me see. Sure. Well, what in the mood for? No. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? One moment, please. There you go. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we'll walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy. I like Japanese food a lot. I'm sorry, a lot. So do I. Okay. Ahora si se fijan. Both, it has a do here. Ambas tienen el do. So do I. Or I do too. Okay. I like. Está escribiendo como una acción. Okay. No van a decir algo como. Quiero ver. El ejemplo que les tenía acá. One moment, please. Okay. So am I, right? Se fija, no es so, mama, so, so am I. Aquí le dijo, action. So do I. I like Japanese food a lot. Okay. No dijo, so am I. Dijo, so do I do because it's the verb of the action was to utilize the action. Or I do too. Okay. Really say it. I don't like it very much. Aquí vamos con la siguiente. I don't like greasy food. ¿Qué sucede después? Negativo. It starts at the, here with neither. Okay. Neither do I or I don't either. Tampoco a mí o a mí tampoco, ¿verdad? Tampoco a mí. But if you pay attention, both ambas tienen el do. I don't like. I don't like. Neither do I. ¿Ok? Tampoco a mí o a mí tampoco. ¿Ok? I'm crazy. Press attention here. Pay attention. I'm... Okay, I'm bird to be crazy about dessert. So am I or I am too. Okay, yo también. No, no quiero traducir bien. Okay, but the thing here, if you pay attention, si presta atención, it is using in both, en ambas están utilizando the bird to be. Okay, I'm so about or I am too. Okay, now I am not in the mood for Indian food. Okay, chicos, se recuerdan que yo les puedo decir que, que también pudimos utilizar si se fijan que está neither am I or neither do I. Ambas están correctas. When or what or what are we going to use? Depende of verbo, verdad? If I do it with I don't. So this is when I don't, estoy expresando. If I say, and I am describing, I'm not in the mood, okay? Obviously, we're going to use this one. Neither am I. Okay. Um, let me see, I don't like. Sí, más que todo se basa en el contexto o como diga esto, for example. I am not, I don't. Quiero ver. Okay, sí, sí, que fue demasiado obvio, la verdad. Pay attention, please. Okay. I don't. I don't eat either.
¿Qué ocuparían para esta? Para negativo. I don't eat Israelian food. Neither do I. Neither, Neither do, I. do I. Porque cuénteme. El verbo. Porque el verbo y que es una acción. Okay. I am at the Italian restaurant. No, neither I am, no, teacher. No, no and, and number one, teacher. Mm -hmm. Neither I am. I am. En esta. Neither... Yeah. Yes, teacher. ¿Por qué? Porque Cuéntame. está diciendo que si le gusta comer la, a la comida italiana, pero solo eso si, si me gusta o no me gusta. Mm -hmm. Ok, aquí dice... Porque si no, lo que pasa es que... que tú... dice... Pero ahí está el verbo. No, no, quiero no, no, comer comer no, 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 Ok, en esta lo que se refiere I don't significa yo no lo hago. I don't eat. No como. Este no fue uno le gusta. I don't eat. Todo lo que uh, diga don't, I don't como. Todo lo que diga don't significa que yo no lo hago. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't play soccer. I don't... Uh, I don't play video games. Todo lo que diga el don't se refiere a que va acompañado con una acción. Ahora, está él solo como un refresh en verdad para todos. I am not. Desde que ocupa el am, recuerden que esto es el verbo am, es un verb to be. Verb be. Solo como un recap. Es más que todo en general. Description. Y que implica esta description. Place. Place the adjectives. Age. Weather. Profession. Entre otro, ¿verdad? Ok. Status. Solo con un pequeño recordatorio. Yo le digo así, ¿verdad? Ok. Please. Ok. Now. Please. Ah. And the next one is religion. It could be. Uh, ok. Also. Another one. Origin. Voy a explicar rapidito esto. Porque aquí esto le va a armar más lógica. Va a ayudarles. El verb to be. La mayoría de veces se ocupa para la description. ¿Qué significa la description? Veámoslo en macro. En lugar se escribe en del lugar, adjetivo, edad, clima, profesión, estado, sea marital, religión, origen. Estoy describiendo. No copien esto, pero quiero que presten atención. Yo lo tomo generalmente como un description. Yo así lo tomo. ¿Por qué? Ah, también nos sirve como auxiliar. I am, let me see, I am, see. I am at my house. Estoy en mi casa. Ok. El verbo estar. Ok. Adjectives. I am tall. Me estoy describiendo como un adjetivo. Ok. Uh, my sister is small or short. Estoy describiendo como un adjetivo. Ok. Age. I am 32. Mi edad. Ok. Weather. It is cold in El Salvador. Es solo un ejemplo. It is cold in El Salvador. Clima. Profession. I am a teacher. You are students. Okay. Status. I am single. Soy soltera. Okay. Religion. I am Catholic. Okay. Religión. Me describo. Origin. I'm from El Salvador. ¿Sí? Por lo tanto, yo no puedo decir, ok, I am, o algo similar. Este do 
or don't, siempre van acompañados de una acción. ¿Ok? I don't eat tacos. I'm sorry, I don't eat Italian food. Uy, ya es tarde. Neither yeah, do I. teacher, sorry. Yes. Solo quiero que quede claro esto. Neither do I, porque está acompañando a un... Eh, ¿Cómo que se llama eso? A un tiempo. I am at the... Porque dije I am, refiriéndome lugar. Ok. Yes. I'm at the restaurant. Y entonces, ¿cómo diría? Neither do I. I'm not, perdón. I'm not. Lo voy a hacer. ¿Cómo sería rapidito acá? Neither do I. Or, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cuál es la otra? Neither I. Neither am I. Neither am I. Am I. Neither am I. Am I. Okay. Neither am I. Yes. Or I don't either. Ah, puede ser. Ahí viene. Okay. Me neither or neither. Okay. Mm -hmm. Creo que eh, neither am I. Creo que lo voy dejando porque sí, me están esperando nosotros. Sí. Good night. Thank you so much. Okay, Good night. teacher. Good night, teacher. Yeah, thank you. Bye.